Hey there, it's Clarence from Switch Mania. Sorry to say, but my sore throat has escalated into tonsillitis. I won't be able to record for a bit, so I'm using a text-to-speech program to deliver today's video, and for a few days as I recover. I really appreciate your patience and understanding. Anyway, let's get into the latest updates on the Nintendo Switch eShop sale. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more gaming updates and other cool stuff. So, let's dive in. Creature in the Well is an exceptional action-adventure game that presents innovative gameplay mechanics inspired by pinball. In this game, you assume the role of a robot whose objective is to restore power to a mysterious and barren mountain town. This task requires you to venture into the mountain's depths, where you must confront an assortment of deadly creatures. The most notable feature of Creature in the Well is its gameplay, which draws inspiration from the mechanics of pinball. To progress in the game, you have to employ your robot's energy weapon to strike various objects scattered throughout the environment. This will trigger an array of effects, such as unlocking doors or activating machinery. Additionally, the game features an upgrade system that lets you improve your robot's abilities and augment your chances of survival. Creature in the Well excels at providing a unique and engaging gameplay experience. The pinball-inspired mechanics add a new layer of complexity to the traditional action-adventure genre, which culminates in a challenging and entertaining gameplay loop. Furthermore, the game boasts impeccable art direction and atmosphere, delivering a haunting and enigmatic world that you'll relish exploring. On the flip side, some players may find the game's difficulty level a tad bit high. The game is harsh in places, and mastering the various gameplay mechanics may require multiple attempts. Additionally, the game's story and characters may seem sparse, which could leave those searching for a deep and engaging narrative somewhat unsatisfied. In conclusion, Creature in the Well is a splendid game for fans of action-adventure and pinball genres. Its inventive gameplay mechanics and haunting atmosphere make it a must-play for Nintendo Switch owners looking for a fresh, and distinctive experience. Alder's Blood is an exceptional turn-based strategy game that immerses you in a dark and gritty world brimming with Lovecraftian monsters. In this game, you assume the role of a team of hunters leader whose mission is to destroy these monstrous creatures and safeguard humanity's last remnants. One of Alder's Blood's most notable features is its stealth mechanics, which require you to navigate through the environment and evade detection by the monsters. You can leverage the environment to your advantage, setting traps and using cover to avoid detection. Additionally, the game boasts a tactical combat system that demands you to plan your attacks meticulously and utilize your hunter's unique abilities to take down the monsters. The game also features an upgrade system that lets you improve your hunter's skills and gear. Alder's Blood excels at providing a dark and atmospheric world that is unsettling and eerie, inspired by Lovecraftian horror. The turn-based combat system is well executed, offering a satisfying and strategic experience that is both engaging and challenging. On the downside, some players may find the game's difficulty level a bit too high, and mastering the stealth mechanics can be demanding. Furthermore, the storyline and characters are somewhat scant, which could disappoint those seeking a more narrative-focused game. All in all, Alder's Blood Definitive Edition is an outstanding game that caters to turn-based strategy and Lovecraftian horror fans. Its stealth mechanics, tactical combat system, and atmospheric world deliver a unique and captivating experience that is sure to keep players on edge. Okinawa Rush is an action-packed side-scrolling beat-em-up game set in feudal Japan that offers a thrilling experience for martial arts enthusiasts. As a martial arts expert, your task is to save your master and bring peace back to the land by battling through enemies such as ninjas and samurais. The game's fluid combat system is one of its highlights, with a range of martial arts moves and combos at your disposal to take on your foes. As you progress through the game, you can unlock new moves and abilities to add to your arsenal. The game's stunning hand-drawn artwork and animation are also noteworthy, creating a beautiful and immersive world to explore. The graphics and art style are impeccable, providing an outstanding visual experience. One of the major positives of Okinawa Rush is its engaging and satisfying combat system, which offers a plethora of techniques to master. The diverse range of enemies offers a challenging experience, and the game's hand-drawn artwork and animation make for a visually striking experience. However, some players may find the game's difficulty level to be quite high, making it punishing at times. Additionally, the game's characters and storyline may seem a bit generic, and those looking for a more story-driven experience may be left wanting. Overall, Okinawa Rush is an excellent game for those who enjoy 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up games. With its fast-paced combat and mesmerizing visuals, it provides a truly engaging and entertaining experience.
Rail Raid is a remarkable puzzle game that poses the challenge of constructing train tracks and maneuvering a train through diverse settings. The game comprises an array of puzzles with varying degrees of difficulty, ranging from simplistic to mind-boggling. The innovative puzzle mechanics are a key feature of Railgrid. You must thoughtfully plan your train tracks and utilize switches, junctions, and other components to guide your train through the environment. Moreover, the game boasts an upgrade system that enables you to enhance your train's speed and efficiency. Railgrid's colorful and delightful graphics add to its allure. The game's landscapes and train designs are uncomplicated yet visually appealing providing a fun and relaxing experience. Railgrade's engaging and challenging puzzle mechanics are its major strengths. The puzzles are well-structured and necessitate a combination of strategic planning and problem-solving abilities to finish. Additionally, the game's graphics and art style are charming and delightful, creating a playful and enjoyable atmosphere. On the downside, some players may find the game's difficulty level to be a tad too high. The puzzles can be quite challenging, particularly in the later levels, and it may take a few attempts to determine the optimal train track configurations. Moreover, the absence of a narrative or story may disappoint those seeking a more immersive experience. Overall, Railgrade is an excellent game for puzzle enthusiasts seeking a distinctive and demanding experience. Its innovative mechanics and delightful graphics make for an entertaining and engaging game that will captivate you for hours. Murder by Numbers is a unique amalgamation of visual novel and puzzle game, set in a world inspired by 1990s crime dramas. You take on the role of Honor Mizrahi, a television actress who becomes entangled in a murder mystery after her employer is found dead. Along with a sardonic AI called Scout, you must solve an array of puzzles and question suspects to uncover the truth behind the murder. One of the key aspects of Murder by Numbers is its seamless blend of visual novel storytelling and puzzle gameplay. The game features a variety of intricate puzzles, including Picross-style logic puzzles, jigsaw puzzles, and more. These puzzles assist in advancing the story and unearthing new leads and suspects. Another noteworthy feature of the game is its intriguing characters and plotline. The game's world and characters are quirky and full of personality, and the murder mystery plotline keeps you engrossed and guessing until the very end. One of the major strengths of Murder by Numbers is its engrossing and well-written storyline. The game's characters are fully developed and charming, and the murder mystery plotline is loaded with twists and turns that keep you on the edge of your seat. Furthermore, the game's puzzle mechanics are well-crafted and provide a fulfilling challenge. On the downside, some players may find the game's pacing to be a little slow, particularly during the puzzle segments. Additionally, the game's graphics and art style, while delightful and vibrant, may not be to everyone's liking. Overall, Murder by Numbers is an exceptional game for aficionados of visual novels and puzzle games. Its captivating storyline and well-designed puzzles make for an enjoyable and immersive experience, and the game's eccentric characters and world are certain to keep you entertained. Eightly Ariza, Ever Darkness and the Secret Hideout immerses you in a captivating RPG adventure with a compelling storyline about a young alchemist named Ryza. Throughout the game, you are able to explore a vast world full of possibilities with a mix of crafting, exploration, and combat mechanics. One of the most remarkable features of the game is its intricate crafting system. You can create a plethora of items including weapons, armor, potions, and bombs using different ingredients and recipes. This allows for endless experimentation and the possibility of creating unique and powerful items. Additionally, the game's exploration mechanics are noteworthy, as the open world setting encourages you to discover hidden treasures and uncover new areas. The day, Night Cycle adds another layer of immersion as it influences monster behavior and resource availability. Eightly Ariza, Ever Darkness and the Secret Hideout impresses with its polished and engaging gameplay mechanics. The crafting and exploration systems are both extensive and satisfying, while the combat system is fast-paced and thrilling. The game's breathtaking graphics and vibrant art style are also worth mentioning, adding to the visual appeal. On the downside, some players may find the game's story and characters to be a bit shallow compared to other RPGs. Although the characters are charming and likable, they may not have the same level of depth and complexity as those in other role-playing games. Overall, Eightly Ariza, Ever Darkness and The Secret Hideout is a fantastic game for RPG enthusiasts seeking an immersive experience. The game's crafting, exploration, and combat systems are all carefully designed to provide variety and depth, and the game's stunning graphics and art style create an unforgettable journey. Eightly Ariza 2, Lost Legends and the Secret Fairy is a captivating Japanese role-playing game that immerses players in a fantastical world filled with turn-based combat. 
alchemy-based crafting, and thrilling exploration elements. As players take on the role of Ryza, a young alchemist on a quest to uncover the truth behind lost legends, they are introduced to an alchemy system that allows them to craft a vast array of items, weapons, and equipment with ease. The game's crafting system is a highlight of the experience, with its streamlined and user-friendly interface allowing players to experiment with new recipes and ingredients in order to create powerful, and unique items. The improved combat mechanics also add a fresh layer of excitement to the game, with new abilities and combos to master, and a more challenging difficulty level that will keep players on their toes. The stunning graphics and detailed character models are a visual feast for players, and add an extra layer of immersion to the game's well-written and engaging storyline. The characters are fully fleshed out, each with their own unique personalities and backgrounds that players will come to care about as they journey through the game's rich narrative. However, some players may find the combat becoming repetitive at times, with battles occasionally feeling monotonous. The game's open-world exploration may also feel limited, with only a small variety of environments to explore. In conclusion, Aetlia Ryza 2 Lost Legends and the Secret Fairy is an entertaining and immersive RPG that offers players an addictive crafting system, stunning visuals, and and a captivating storyline. Although it may have a few minor flaws, fans of the series and newcomers alike will find plenty to enjoy in this delightful adventure. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection is a compilation of three classic action games that are renowned for their fast-paced, intense combat and unforgiving difficulty levels. Developed by Team Ninja and published by Koei Tecmo, this collection features Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, and Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge. One of the most notable features of this collection is the updated graphics and improved performance. With a resolution of 1080p and a refresh rate of 60 frames per second, the games look and feel more modern than ever before. Additionally, players can experience the full story of each game with all previously released DLC included. The collection's challenging gameplay is another highlight, rewarding players who master the game's mechanics and combos. The combat system is deep and satisfying, providing a wide range of weapons and abilities to master. The updated graphics and performance improvements make the games feel more polished, and the collection is sure to provide hours of gameplay. However, the game's notorious difficulty may be a drawback for some players, especially during boss battles. Even experienced gamers may find themselves struggling with the challenges presented in these games. Additionally, modern quality of life improvements, such as autosave features and checkpoint systems, are not present in these classic titles. Despite these minor shortcomings, Ninja Gaiden Master Collection is an excellent choice for fans of the series and anyone looking for a challenging action game. The updated graphics and performance enhancements make the game games feel more modern, while the deep and satisfying combat system offers a rewarding experience for those who are up to the challenge. Hey ladies and gents, I have an announcement to make. We've been looking at our YouTube analytics and we noticed that 80% of viewers are not yet subscribed to our channel. Well, you're in luck. This is your chance to subscribe right now because we've decided to give back to our subscribers this month with a special giveaway. Yes, you. You beautiful person who watches this very instant and already subscribed to the channel. That's right, we're giving away a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card for US region to one lucky winner. We know it's not a huge amount, but we hope that it will bring a smile to the winner's face. And to be honest, it's all that we can afford right now. To enter, all you have to do is head on over to the link in the description and follow the instructions there. The giveaway will run until the end of the month and we'll be choosing one winner at random. Additionally, for more chances of winning the giveaway, simply answer this question. What game are you excited to get on the list and why? Leave your answer in the comment section down below. We will be announcing the winner on our Twitter account, so be sure to check it out and follow us there. We want to thank everyone again for all of your support and we can't wait to see who wins the Nintendo eShop gift card. Good luck to everyone who enters and let's get back to the video. Blue Reflection, Second Light is a Japanese RPG that tells the story of a group of girls trapped in a mysterious academy who must use their magical powers to escape. The game features a turn-based combat system, character customization, and exploration elements, with a strong emphasis on the relationships between the main characters. One of the game's highlights is its beautiful graphics and art style, which showcase stunning environments and detailed character designs. The character customization system is another notable feature, allowing players to tailor their character's appearance, abilities, and skills to their liking. 
The game also boasts a crafting system for creating items and equipment, as well as a variety of magical powers and abilities that players can use in combat. However, the game's combat can sometimes feel repetitive and slow-paced, with battles occasionally dragging on. The exploration elements also suffer from a lack of variety in the environments that players can explore. Overall, Blue Reflection, Second Light is a solid RPG that offers a compelling story, gorgeous visuals, and a satisfying character customization system. While it may have some minor flaws, it's a game that will surely delight fans of the genre and newcomers alike. Garden Story, developed by Picogram and published by Rose City Games, is an indie adventure game that will transport you to a charming world filled with delightful pixel art. Follow the journey of Concord, a young grape, who becomes the new guardian of his village. Your village is facing a mysterious and dangerous rot that is spreading throughout the land, and it's up to you to save it. One of the game's most notable features is its emphasis on community and relationships. Players must help the various inhabitants of the village and work together to save their home. You will also need to employ farming and resource management mechanics to aid in your quest. Grow crops, gather resources, and solve quests to expand your village and save it from peril. The game's adorable graphics and relaxing atmosphere provide a sense of peace and tranquility, making it perfect for players seeking a calming adventure. The mechanics of the game are well designed, with a satisfying loop of gathering resources, completing quests, and expanding the village. On the other hand, some players may find the combat mechanics to be too simplistic and repetitive. However, once you master the basics, battles become easier to win. Additionally, the game's story may feel overly simplistic to some players, lacking depth or complexity in the narrative. Overall, Garden Story is a charming and heartwarming adventure game that offers a unique blend of farming, resource management, and community building. It may not be the best choice for players looking for a challenging or complex experience, but it's an excellent choice for those seeking a peaceful and enjoyable adventure. Death Squared, developed by SMG Studio, is a cute and colorful puzzle game that follows the story of two robots who must work together to solve a series of increasingly complex puzzles. One of the game's most notable features is its co-opus gameplay, allowing players to team up with a friend and solve puzzles together. The game also features a variety of puzzle types, including pressure plates, laser grids, and other hazards. One of the positive aspects of the game is its challenging yet rewarding gameplay. Each puzzle provides a unique and satisfying solution, and the game's humor and witty dialogue add to the overall experience, making for a fun and engaging game. On the other hand, the game's single-player mode may feel limited as players must control both robots themselves and may struggle to complete certain puzzles. Additionally, the game's lack of a level editor or community content may limit its replayability. Overall, Death Squared is a fun and challenging co-opus puzzle game that's perfect for players looking to solve puzzles together. While its single-player mode may not be as engaging, the game's humor and clever puzzles make it a great choice for anyone looking for a good time. Super One More Jump, developed by SMG Studio, is an indie arcade game featuring a charming pixel art style and fast-paced, addictive gameplay. One of the game's key features is its easy-to-learn mechanics, where players simply tap the screen to make their character jump and avoid obstacles. The game also offers a variety of levels, each with its own unique challenges and obstacles. One of the game's positive points is its addictiveness, with players finding themselves constantly wanting to try just one more level. The game's level design is also well done, with a good mix of difficulty and variety to keep players engaged. On the other hand, the game's simplistic graphics and mechanics may not appeal to players looking for a more complex or challenging experience. Additionally, the game's lack of multiplayer modes or online leaderboards can limit its replayability. Overall, Super One More Jump is a fun and addictive arcade game that's perfect for quick sessions or casual play. While it may not offer much in terms of depth or complexity, its charming graphics and engaging gameplay make it a great choice for anyone looking for a fun and fast-paced arcade experience. Death Come True is a one-of-a-kind interactive movie game designed by Kazutaka Kodaka, the creator of the acclaimed Danganronpa series. The game is presented in a cinematic style, placing players in control of the main character, and allowing them to make decisions that determine the game's outcome. 
The most remarkable aspect of the game is its branching storyline, where each decision made by the player has a significant impact on the game's direction. Additionally, the game includes live-action performances from talented actors, which heightens immersion levels for players. The game has several positive aspects, including its innovative gameplay mechanics, captivating storyline, and outstanding performances from actors. The numerous endings provide players with high replayability, allowing them to experience the story from various angles. The game's most significant weakness is its short length, as players can complete it in just a few hours. Furthermore, the lack of interactivity in some parts of the game may disappoint some players looking for a more involved experience. In conclusion, Death Come True is an exceptional interactive movie game that provides a unique and immersive storytelling experience. Although the game's short length may be a drawback for some, the innovative gameplay mechanics and engaging storyline make it a game worth experiencing. Brigandine The Legend of Reunicea, developed by Happenet Corporation, is a tactical RPG that takes place in the fantastical world of Reunicea, where six factions struggle for control of the land. Players will experience strategic gameplay as they manage resources, recruit units, and engage in battles against enemy forces. With a vast world full of quests and events to explore, players will find many hours of entertainment. One of the game's best features is its challenging and rewarding gameplay, where players must carefully manage their resources and build their armies to gain an advantage in battle. The detailed world-building and engaging storyline are also notable positives, as they help to create an immersive and enjoyable experience for the player. Customization is also key, with players able to tailor their armies to their preferred playstyle. However, the game's complexity may pose a challenge to those new to the genre, and the learning curve can be steep. Additionally, the game's graphics and presentation are a bit outdated, which may deter some players. Overall, Brigandine The Legend of Reunicea is an excellent tactical RPG that offers a deep and immersive experience for fans of the genre. While its complexity and dated graphics may not be for everyone, the game's strategic gameplay and expansive world make it a must-play for anyone seeking an engaging tactical RPG. Code is a whimsical puzzle game that takes players on a journey through a magical underground world. Developed by Henchmen and Goon, the game's story follows the rock and fallen star duo as they explore their surroundings, solving puzzles and uncovering secrets along the way. One of the key features of Pode is its innovative co-opus gameplay, which allows players to control both characters and work together to overcome obstacles and progress through the game's levels. The game also boasts stunning visuals, a tranquil soundtrack, and a heartwarming tale of friendship and discovery. Players will find much to enjoy in Pode, including its imaginative world, challenging puzzles, and well-executed co-opus gameplay. Additionally, the game offers plenty of replay value, thanks to its numerous hidden areas and secrets waiting to be discovered. That being said, the game's leisurely pacing may not appeal to players who prefer more fast-paced action. Additionally, some of the puzzles can be quite challenging, and the lack of hints or guidance may leave some players feeling frustrated. Overall, Pode is an outstanding puzzle game that offers a unique and delightful co-opus experience. While its slower pace and high level of difficulty may not be for everyone, the game's charming world, engaging puzzles, and touching story make it a must-play for fans of the puzzle genre. And that concludes our episode of Switch Mania for today. Be sure to check out our other videos for additional gaming content, and reviews. As always, we appreciate your viewership and support. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you in the next episode of Switch Mania. Peace.